intersection did not have a red light camera. The crash is sparking new debate on whether we should reboot all those red light cameras that got shut down. Yeah, and Arizona is the worst state in the entire country when it comes to red light running fatalities. Our Jason Berry joins us live from Cactus Road and 35th Avenue now where there is a red light camera, but it's not taking pictures anymore. Jason? Yeah, that is correct. This is one of 12 Phoenix locations that have a red light camera that was working around the clock, but city council members shut the program down and some say it's making intersections like this one less safe. Not all red light running crashes are deadly, but this one in North Phoenix last night was. Phoenix police officer Gennaro New was killed when someone ran a red light at Greenway and Cave Creek Road, smashing into the officer's vehicle at a high rate of speed. Valley mom Barbara Hoffman knows firsthand what New's family must be feeling. A few years ago, Hoffman's 14-year-old son Michael was killed by a red light runner in Mesa. It actually angers me. I mean, I feel really sad for the family, but it angers me that it's still such a problem in our area here. And I, I just wish that people would see the dangers of running red lights and it's going to devastate the family forever. According to AAA, Arizona has the highest rate of red light running fatalities in the entire country. In an effort to reduce the number of crashes, a number of cities have installed red light running cameras at dangerous intersections. Overall, not only are red light running fatalities down, but all other sorts of uh, crashes that occur in these, on these streets are also down. A couple years ago, Phoenix police reported a 57% decrease in red light running crashes at the 12 intersections where cameras were up and running. But that didn't stop the Phoenix City Council from voting to turn the cameras off at the end of 2019 because of concerns about data, where the cameras were located, and whether they unfairly target lower income communities. Hoffman says it doesn't make any sense. She hopes the tragic death of Officer Gennaro Monday night sends a message to city leaders to turn the red light cameras back on. It may not stop every person from running a red light, but it does hinder, and I think that's important. Number Sal DeCicio sent us this statement. The death of Officer New is a terrible tragedy. The only proven way to reduce drunk driving is through more enforcement, more cops on our streets, using this tragic and senseless event to promote traffic cams that would have done nothing to prevent it is despicable. Now, Mayor Kate Gallego has a different opinion. She is in full support of these red light cameras. She is hoping to get it back up for debate and discussion sometime in the months ahead. Reporting live in Phoenix, Jason Berry for Arizona's family. Of course, we will continue to follow this story. Jason, thank you so much.